Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Arsenio Buck Show episode, bringing you today the topic talk. That's right, we're going to be getting back into how to take action on depression. Guys, I can only lead the horse to the water, as the saying goes. Yeah, but I cannot force that horse to drink the water. I'm going to give you two stories. I'm going to give you some examples, but gosh, it's like when you deal with people who are extremely stubborn, they just don't want to do anything. You could give them all the information in the world, they wouldn't do a goddamn thing. Do you guys know a person like that? It's crazy. I know a lot of you are like, yeah, 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 I do, I do, I do, Arsenio. Well, you know what? I used to have this colleague. She was the first one that came to me. She was saying she was depressed. I was like, okay, so what are you feeling right now? And she listed out the things that she was feeling. I was like, okay, what are the triggers for those? What are the emotional triggers that make you feel that way? And she's like, oh, well, this, 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 and the money and this. I said, okay, well, how can you make more money? I said, what do you like to do? What do you love to do? It doesn't look like you're having fun here. Oh, well, let's just say a month later, she got fired, okay? But you know what? She ended up going into another place. That's right. Just a couple of fours down, she got another job. She seemed happy. She bought a car. I'm like, dude, what are you doing buying a car? That's a liability. That's not an asset. What do you need a car for? Oh, I want to drive my mom around Thailand. Well, your mama could take the bus around Thailand. I understand that you know you want to do things for your mom. You want this for your mom. I know there are a lot of NBA players out there that buy houses for their mom, their mothers. But it doesn't solve the problem. They're still poor in the mind. And so she bought this car, and I'm like, how much is it per month? Oh, three hundred dollars, like ten thousand baht. Like you bought a goddamn car for ten thousand baht for what? You don't make ten thousand baht a month. You make probably fifteen thousand baht a month. So you're literally giving sixty to seventy-five percent of your salary to a car that you don't even need. Ugh. Well, just recently she got fired from that job. And I'm just saying, people, that she points fingers at why she's not operating. She's not doing this. She's not doing that. She's like, oh, because I'm depressed. I'm like, well, what is depressed? How are you depressed? How are you depressed? Tell me what you're feeling. Like, how are you depressed? And the thing is, we start believing the shit that we tell ourselves. Like, oh, you know what? I'm not performing because of this. You start pointing fingers at other people rather than saying, no, I'm not depressed. I'm perfectly fine. But what is it that I'm so discontent with right now in my life? Now, I don't know about her past, but I do believe that something in her past is bugging her. That's, uh, uh, you know, negating what's happening in her life right now. And I'm like, what is going on? Yes, I'm going to meet with this specific individual tomorrow. And I'm going to knock some sense into her because I'm like, you bought a car that you can't even afford. Like, what are you doing? This is what a lot of Thai people do. They buy cars so they can show it to their other friends and say, yeah, I'm part of the high so. The high so meaning high society. I'm part of the high so clique. I'm like, I don't give a damn about you. I don't give a damn about this. What are you guys talking? Oh, my God. So you're literally buying a car for other people who don't even care. You're going to buy a car. They're going to say that's not good enough. You're going to buy a Toyota. Next, you know, you're going to want to buy an Audi. You're going to want to buy more and more and more. Guys, you're never going to be content with what you have. What is going on with this world? It's like me right now. Some people would say, oh, Arsenio, you should buy a motorbike. I'm like, okay. So if I go from point A to point B, let's see. Very easy. It's going to be very hot. I could possibly be ki- – I might get hit by a car. Okay, that's cool. All right, so when I get here to this specific place that I'm working at, it's going to take me 30 minutes, 30 minutes to an hour to find parking. Okay, fantastic. After that, uh, I'm going to come upstairs, and then when I go home to work, the roads in this city – layout plan is so jacked up whereas i would have to first go down the road about two miles to do my first u-turn make a right hand turn go all the way down that street and make another left and go all the way down for another three miles before doing another u-turn and drive right upside the same goddamn road what the hell is happening out here what kind of a fool would i be to buy a car or anything like that And so, guys, we really need to take a step back and ask ourselves, what is it that we want all these things for? And because of her, she keeps pointing fingers at other people. I'm depressed. I'm depressed. You're using a stupid-ass word indicating, oh, well, I'm not performing on the job because I'm depressed. I'm not performing on the job because I'm sad. I'm not performing on the job because my goddamn boyfriend smacked me in the mouth. I understand that. 
But you know what? Those are just excuses. Because guess what? I mean, again, if you face and confront reality, you wouldn't be going through these situations right now. Face what isn't working. So that comes back to my other friend. Alisa, yes, love her. Love her, 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 love When the body and the mind is so familiar with the particular state that it's in at that given moment, it's so difficult to snap out of that. It always wants to go back to familiarity. So if your boyfriend or your girlfriend or if it, whatever it may be that it's very toxic, your body is used to that. If you start making a decision and you begin that paradigm shift, you're going to be in for the battle of your life. Why? Because your body's going to want to go back to those Those uh, those feelings and that energy, that nasty energy that you would normally get from it, that high, that negative high. So, I mean, this is what happens. You give all that information, but no one takes action. When it comes to taking action, I'm not taking. I'm not talking about diving in. I'm talking about easing into it, what Darren Hardy said. I'm not saying take those big, gigantic steps. I'm just saying take the first step. Watch a video. Watch another video. Watch another video. Hey, Arsenio, I'm, I'm starting to understand it a little bit more. Okay, Arsenio, I followed up with your friend. We're going to have our first free session, 45-minute session. We're going to get into this. It's all about just taking the first step. Now, with her, if you figure out, oh, I'm depressed, I'm depressed, I'm depressed, but you're not really depressed. It's just an excuse that you keep making up for yourself. Take that first step. What is it that I'm truly discontent with in my life? Is it my brother? Is it my mother? Is it this? Is it that? I got it. You don't have a father. God damn it. I don't have a family. Listen, if all hell falls apart in this goddamn country, I am screwed. All right? There isn't a soul out there that's probably going to help me. And I'm not going to ask for any help, too. A lot of people would say, oh, well, you're stubborn. Well, goddamn right. I'm run. This is a one-man army out here, baby. It's prodigy. So, again, what I'm trying to say here is, You can lead that horse to the water, but man, if you don't take that action, I'm just spewing nothing but words. All these podcasts and everything I put out, 1,100 podcasts that I have out there. If you have not taken any action whatsoever, what else is there for me to do for you? What else can I do for you? It's up to you now. So guys, please take action. When you're depressed, ask yourself, what are the triggers? What's, what, what's making you feel this way? Start asking yourself the real questions, and then the right answers will come. So with that being said, guys, stay tuned for another podcast. We got the holidays coming up real soon. Singapore, you name it. It's going to be wild. It's going to be wacky. Ramble of positivity, the will of life. You know it. You name it. It's coming. So, guys, with that being said, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. I'm your host, Arsenio, as usual. Over and out.